How we doing today, guys? Sam and Jack here with this week's fishing report. Um, fishing's been okay lately, especially if you want to target rockfish. Um, that's what most folks are going to go out there and do this time of the year. If you take a look our way north of the bridge, there's lots of small schools of fish. Everywhere from Love Point all the way up to Tolchester and all the way up to Pools Island even. These fish don't seem to be very, very concentrated. They're very small schools that are moving around quite a bit. So you're going to have to do a lot of running gunning if you want to jig for them. Um, but trolling for them is really effective this time of the year just because they're so spread out. Um, bait fishing becomes a little bit tougher in that sense, but you can still catch some at some of your normal places like Love Point Lighthouse, the Bay Bridge. Fishing with live spot or soft crab is always a good bet in those areas. Pushing down south, the rockfish are still pretty consistent down that way. They are um, mostly going to be in the shallows though, casting towards shoreline, stuff like that, paddle tails, things like that. Um, so how's the perch fishing been, Jack? Perch fishing's heating up a bunch. They're, uh, they're pretty much everywhere. You can bottom fish for them. Um, sabiki rigs, blood worms, razor clams, um, soft crab. Um, and then you can also fish for them in the shallows, casting little spinners, stuff like that. Perch founders has been really helpful or effective. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, if you're looking for some of the bigger ones, I know even fishing three or four inch diesel minnows, you definitely are sacrificing numbers for sure, but there's a lot of big perch out this time. Yeah, sure. So other than that, I know crabbing's been starting to heat up. Do you know anything about definitely. that? Definitely. Yeah, around here, so like the Magathy, I know people have been catching them pretty well, um, running trot lines, pull-up traps, um, got plenty of chicken necks, plenty of razor clams for bait for those. Mm -hmm. I know the Severn's been doing pretty well as well, and I assume this time of the year, the Eastern Shore is always doing well, Crab Alley areas like that. It's full-time summertime, crabbing should be good this time of the year for sure. Um, speckled trout though, if you're pushing down south, fishing some of the islands in the Virginia portion or moving up towards the Maryland line into some of those lower Eastern Shore of Maryland, it's been pretty good this year. It's been better than the past couple of years for sure. Fishing shorelines, um, whether it be at the mouth of chop tank or south from there, small paddle tails, small jerk baits, popping corks, all those kinds of things. Um, so that's going to be most of your popular stuff up here, but if we move down south towards the beach, I know there's some Spanish mackerel starting to be caught as far north as um, Point Lookout. So they should be here within a month, you know, hopefully. Other than that, the bluefish are all the way up to just south of Deal right, from what I hear. Right. So it's that time of year for most of those fish to start coming up. So it's time to get your macro stuff out, get that kind of stuff ready for you. Redfish, cobia, um, that's kind of in its full swing down on the Virginia portion. So it's your typical summer stuff. A lot of, if you want to look for rockfish, they're going to be pretty spread out. You got to move pretty quickly for them. But some of the other stuff definitely in the southern portion of the bay starts to pick up. And then moving into some freshwater stuff, we got to talk about snakehead. Um, Absolutely. So that bite's picking up also. You know, you can cover water with a chatterbait, swim bait, stuff like that. Search for more active fish during the day, middle of the day, and then in the morning and at night, you're going to want to more slow down and fish those topwater frogs and things like that. Sorry to beat the topwater frogs. Everybody loves those. Definitely. Absolutely. Such a fun bite. Absolutely. So I think that just about wraps it up. So if you're looking to get out there, of course, it's that time of the year to do so. So we thank you guys for your time and have a good one out there.